Hello, Scott. This is Audrey from high school. Hasn't it? Well, look, I'm passing through town and I thought that we could get together and catch up. Your house. Oh, you're married. Well, then yes, most definitely. I think seven works. Silver Street? Okay, I'll see you then. Hey, honey. I uh, just got a phone call from an old friend from school. She's going to be uh, in the area, so I invited her to dinner, if that's okay with you. Sure, what's her name? Audrey. Her name's Audrey Nolan. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting her. Are we still going to lunch with my parents at the club tomorrow? Yeah, I guess so. I hope your dad doesn't expect me to play golf with him, though. You could try, you know. So she's coming at 7? Maria, this dinner is wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. I know it was last minute, but so was my trip here. What brings you here? Scott said something about a business trip? Mm-hmm. I'm with Insight, that news magazine. We go around scouting stories from different areas. Human interest, if you will. You want to expose the underbelly of Mary Heights. Well, every small town has their secrets. Or just some news story. Like that time we drove the truck into the river. That, that was all your idea. Not mine. Hmm. I always could get you to do anything. You know, Scott, I ran into your old neighbor earlier today. Uh, the one who defended us in court that time? Uh, are you sure it was me you were there? Yes. Remember we were drinking along Pippin Road? Mr. Wilkins crashed his car because of us. I think he had a heart attack. Um, uh, uh... The bathroom. First door on the right. Uh, Maria. Scott. Arrested car crashes? She's joking, right? It was a long time ago. It was in high school. I mean, you weren't in the National Honor Society, but endangering lives and destroying property? Actually, I, I was in the National Honor Society. Thank you. Uh, Maria, can I talk to you in the other room? Yeah, sure. Scott! Maria, I'm sorry. Scott, I think I want her to leave. How? Well, what next? You hit the Lindbergh baby? Maria, it wasn't my idea. Or even Audrey's, I don't think. But there was a hazing incident at the school. I didn't even know the guy, but he fell off the roof. We can talk about it later. I just wanted you to hear it from me. So, do you have any more wedding pictures? I think I saw one in the hall. I'd love to see more. They're beautiful. There are some upstairs. I'll go get them. I'll drive. What? I'll dry. Where do you keep your towels? Oh, thank you. Over there in that drawer under the toaster. You know, I hope I'm not opening up Pandora's box here tonight. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Scott and I have a very stable marriage. Are you married yourself, Audrey? No. I'm way too indecisive for a relationship. See? Well, those can be good days, too. Was Scott really that wild in high school? Yes. I would have to say yes. He really hit his wild streak when he met me. Apparently, before that, he used to be his mother's pride and joy. You know, he got a girl pregnant once. She was 15, I think. He lashed out. She left town. Oh, he was so passionate then. I uh, brought some photos down. Scott, we need to talk. Now. Now? Can it wait? I can go look at your living room. 
It looks lovely at a glance. Thank you. Maria, honey, I don't know what got into me back then. Well, I do! It was that... that Jezebel! She made you like that! Well, maybe this is you. I've seen you looking at her. I thought we were happy. Maybe I don't know I who you just... are! Get out! I'm so sorry, Maria. Right. Of course you are. You wrecked my marriage. I would have been happier not knowing. Oh, my dear. No, you wouldn't have. You know that. Well, I must be going. I have to leave tomorrow. You'll be okay, won't you? I mean, it could still work out. No, it can't. One thing. Why? Why did you do this? Because I can. Try to believe in this something.